Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder production. I am bringing you something a little special today. This is the Mage's Initiation demo that's being kickstarted right now. If you haven't gone and donated to this Kickstarter, get your fucking ass over there and donate some money, or I'm going to hunt you down. All right, this is a short demo of the upcoming adventure RPG title Mage's Initiation, Reign of Elements, by Himalaya Studios. And no, they're not working out of the Himalayan mountains, so don't fucking ask. This game is being funded by Kickstarter and also by Game Hoarder. So like I was saying before, get over there, check it out. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this demo is so that you guys can get a little taste of the adventure awesome sauce that is about to invade your brain. We assume the role of Doc. 16-year-old initiate who has studied the magical arts in Ignor's Mage's Tower for the past decade of his young life. With his initiation to become a fully-fledged mage fast approaching, Jark is summoned to the training hall by his fire mage mentor, Varner, for some important guidance. In this demonstration, you're limited to playing Doc as a fire mage with three combat spells. In the full game, you can also play as earth, air, or water. Each with different spells, personalities, puzzle solutions, and side quest. You also get six combat spells per character class. Only six? Come on. Let's make that 12. All right. Blah, 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 blah. This obviously does not represent the final product. They are using this on the AGD engine. Um, there, I've seen a few comments um, complaining slash commenting on the resolution. Uh, honestly, I don't want it to be too uh, detailed, too sharp, I guess. I like the old, big, blocky, pixelated look. Uh, personally, it brings me back to days of yore. So, uh, yeah, I like it the way it is. I hope that I can screen it. Anyways, let's begin the game. I need to use the dial to access the training hall, where my mentor, Bonner, is waiting for me. This new outfit sure feels comfy. Alright, we'll grab the empty flask there. Bort has placed a protective aura over everything that's readable. I cannot take a single page without permission. Well, fuck Bort. I should interrupt another mage's studies. Look at this ball son of a bitch. Out of my reach. All right. This is a very short demo. It's not going to take too long. A pot filled with soil and a few budding seeds. Here we have our uh, bar, our action bar. We can walk or run, look, interact, talk. This is our heat spell here. Equipment. This is kind of a Hero's Quest, Quest for Glory-ish type game. Obviously we have our stats of strength, magic, intelligence, constitution, mana, and health. And a Kickstarter link. Takes you right there. Got a little experience in the upper right here. Graphics are great. Love the characters. Let's go ahead and read the scroll. It appears to be an incantation for growing a pine cone out of your head. This was fashionable in Dominetra about five years ago. Hmm. Well, good thing it's not fashionable anymore. Inventory. What was the combination again? I 
memorized an old rhyme to help me remember. When the flame did flicker high and tall, the wind did blow, earth caught may fall. My fall. Flame, wind, and earth. That is the combination. Doc, you're here finally! You lazy bastard. Sorry I'm late, partner. Bort wouldn't stop talking about Master Gerdit's latest attempt to grow rose bushes. That should pose little challenge for an Earth Mage. These roses change color according to the mood. Of the person. Of the roses. I see. Well, as of now, my mood is somewhere between restless and impatient. Shall we begin? Of course. Take this. This is your conductor. We will challenge, channel your element's gift, allowing you to perform combative magic. Thank you. Now, touch the sphere of knowledge. I will grant you your first of your spells. Ooh, I can't wait to touch it. It's so big. Seeker of power. That's me! The vessel must grow before it may hold. Well, that's the orb talking, alright. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The sphere believes you are a little bitch and not quite yet ready. Can't you tell it I am? I would, but it's not that simple. Your capacity for magic is still limited. We will need to find a way to deepen it, if only superficially. Any ideas? In the reading hall there is a gem. It can be made to increase your magic by inserting it into one of your conductor's sockets. Ooh, kinky. That sounds easy enough. The gem alone will not suffice. You will need to activate the power stored within. Are you going to explain how to do that? Better. Here are the instructions. You know, you could have just told me that at the start. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> I'm so fucking funny. Alright, let's check out the room here. Sometimes Varner makes these two spar against each other. That'd be cool to see. A once happy-go-lucky dragon, now relegated to guarding weapons and knickknacks. Varner's weapon collection. Impressive. A scimitar. Curvy little cutter. A mortar and pestle, useful for grinding things. And making spells, of course. Alright, so now we have some bellows, conductors. Let's check out our scrap paper here. Dog. The clear gem I have asked you to find can be activated using the combined forces of our elements. Once in your possession, place the gem into soft earth and aid, add mage's mage water from our fountain hall. Water, water, water. And then add heat. You should be able to manage that one on your own. Last of all, a good blast of air should wake it up. Equip the empowered gem in your conductor and return the sphere. Good luck. Alright. Well, let's head to the fountain room. Water, water, water. It's an easy enough combination to remember. Ooh, pretty. It's so pretty. There, I filled up my flask with mage's water. Once you've figured out the combination and traveled to the room, it gives you a shortcut key there so that you don't have to keep doing it. Now let's get this gem down.
obviously the puzzles and such will be more complex than the actual game. This is more of a demo to check out the interface, the general look of the game. This earth looks soft enough. I'll drop the clear gem into the pot. I shall pour the entire contents of the flask over the gem. Cast a little heat spell. There, I've cast my heat spell on the gem. The mage's water has evaporated and the gem is now glowing warmly. After using the bellows to cool the gem, it has now turned green and is beginning to glow brightly. I wonder if it's safe to take. Only one way to find out. Now I need to equip this gem into my conductor. Boom shakalaka. I feel more powerful already. I see you have acquired the green gemstone. Well done. Now touch the sphere of knowledge. Touch it. Feel it. Embrace it. Caress it. The sphere of knowledge is in my pants. The vessel has grown. The seeker may receive its power. Oh! Congratulations! Your progress has allowed you to advance a level. When you look at your statistic panel, you will now be able to invest several points into the stats of your choosing. Well done. You have convinced the sphere that you are worthy of the spells needed for your training today. If you encounter another such gem, it may also be equipped in your conductor. You may only have two equipped at any one time. Before we proceed further, ensure that you have put up your experience to good use, for in knowledge lies the key to unlocking your greater power within. Whenever you have learned enough, assign your knowledge to any of these areas you may wish to enhance. Speak to me again when you are ready, and we will begin today's training. I'm a mage, man. I'm going magic. I see you are ready. We shall begin. Will we be sparring today? No. With your initiation fast approaching, I have something special planned. <laughs> Prepare yourself. For what? Farner? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, so this is combat. Burning that goblin up! Get some! I love these goblins, man. They look great. They remind me of the goblins from the D&D game. Shadows over Mystera. That one's a little harder to land. Away, bitch! I don't know if I can attack with weapons. I should have read the directions. I'm going pure magic here though, because I didn't put any into strength. You'll have to wait for the full game or buy it yourself to experiment. I do kind of like being able to run around like this a little better. Holy shit! Fucking goblin army! Oh. Oh. Burning them little bitches up! 
You picked up your first healing potion. During combat, you may click the potion icon at the top of the screen. Man, I'm fucking good. I am Goblin Slayer Game Hoarder. Conqueror of Little Green Bastards. Well done. That was intense. Holy shit balls. Consider it a taste of things to come. Another round tomorrow? Alright. Good. Try not to be late. The masters will not look favorably on such habits when you present yourself for initiation. Do you think I'll pass? Only the elements can say. I know one thing, young novice. Your success will depend entirely on you. Until next time. Alright, and that's it, folks. Short and sweet. Thank you for watching Game Hoarder's production of Mage's Initiation Demo. If you enjoyed this short teaser, we hope that you'll consider pledging to our Kickstarter campaign to help us make the final game bigger and better. There's only uh, about a week left, maybe less, I forget. Uh, get over there. They got really cool stretch goals. They're giving away uh, figurines uh, if you pledge to some of the higher tiers. They got a nice collector's box edition for you old school collectors like myself that like having our big boxes. Um, so get over there and pledge. Tell them the game hoarder sent you in the comment box. And uh, yeah, check it out. It's going to be a great game. Thanks for watching.